you know, first impressions, it's really great. I'm going to just use this hammer for a while, and then uh, I'll let you know how I like it and what I think about it. Here we are, two years later. The titanium forging hammer. What do I think about this bad boy? I'm going to tell you that today. Why don't we do a quick blast from the past on collage of me making this hammer. Actually, I've been a little hesitant to make this video because as soon as you start talking about titanium and a titanium hammer, it gets to be a bit of controversy out there about it. Okay, the number one thing we have to talk about straight out of the gate. Everybody's like, that's stupid! Titanium's light! That's gonna make a terrible hammer! Always chuckle at that comment because guess what? Believe it or not, hammers come in different weights. If you want a bigger hammer, just get more titanium. Okay, so the next thing is, what does it look like after two years of absolutely smashing it upon everything? I originally, at the very beginning, for the first couple weeks, took her easy. Didn't wanna smash it on anything. And then I was like, no, we're, whoa, that was violent. Oh, hang on. Not held back at all on hitting anything with this hammer. This is what it looks like. The old titanium hammer. The tape is a new addition from, uh, it hit the ground pretty hard the other day for some reason. But look at the face. Here's the interesting thing about the titanium. Very quickly, the surface got pitted from hitting scale when forging. Like, right away and I thought oh man that's the end of it but then it stopped it didn't go further every single axe that I've made since 2020 I've used this hammer to make okay here's the next thing I want to show you a little bit of mushrooming on the edge just right in there right this side this side is the side that I always put it down on the anvil. You can see the blues come off where this side stays up. It's because 90% of the time I'm using this face. So when you do that, you always put your hammer down like this. The cross pin is uh, not rounded like it was. A little bit of mushrooming and dinging on that. So that's not too great, I guess. The, the part that's good is that it's flat. I like a flat cross pin, but it's worked in. So that's where the hammer is after uh, over two years of working it. This is the part that, I, this is the reason I haven't made the video is because uh, like you look at that and you say, oh, that's not a very good hammer. And I guess, look how loose that is, hey? I gotta fix that. Oh, oh, oh. The surface condition is not super great, but I mean, forging my axes, I like the texture in there. It doesn't bother me for the work that I do, but I don't know that I would want to sell a hammer like this because that is pretty bad. You can harden titanium to a degree and I was messing around with that a little bit, uh, age hardening it in the forge, but quite frankly, I'm just not set up good enough to do it. But if it was hardened, it would be a little bit better, which would be exciting. I gotta put a new handle on it sometime soon and that's the other thing, it's gonna be about this much longer. Get a little bit more speed out of that because you're always looking for it because it's light, but I like that, it works really well. The gist of it here, Timothy. Get to the gist of it, son. There's something about it. The titanium hammer is not here where I need it. I will walk across the shop every time to get it. My elbow has never felt, I, it's never felt as good as it has since I've been swinging this thing. My left hand, my tongue hand is always more tired 
than my right arm. I think it's the titanium that it just, the way it takes the shock, you can totally feel what you need to feel for when you're controlling the hammer, but it doesn't transfer into your hands. So that's, I think, the number one reason why I'll continue to use this hammer over a steel one. Not to say that I won't be using steel ones and continuing to like those hammers for some things, but like, that's why I haven't made the video because it's like, ah, it's not a super great hammer, but yet I still continue to use it daily and I really would be sad if it was gone. <laughs> Is it a great hammer? From a technical side, no. But there's something about it. That's the update. Short and sweet. Is there anything I missed? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week, Friday. Oh, tune in next week, Friday. Got something special coming for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Keep the forge lit.